What's going on everybody? So glad you decided to click on this video. To start things off, here's another one of my son Javier. Da 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 da. Say da 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 da. Da 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 da. start off that we are this week going to continue our zoom meetings so this coming wednesday or actually later today at 3 p.m we're going to be meeting to have our worship uh together as a group and that will be on zoom again following this uh on sunday we're going to be meeting again at 1 p.m and then again at 2 p.m 1 p.m for the junior high 2 p.m for the senior high again on zoom check those reminds or the text that i'm sending you guys and you'll see the information of uh which zoom account to log into I hope to see you there. Next announcement. We are still looking at going to our mission trip. They apparently have our site down, but they're not giving us that information because basically they said they don't want to get everyone's hopes up and then have to uh, be a downer right after announcing what we're going to be doing. So before they gave the big announcement, they really wanted to have a concrete idea of what's going to be happening. And really everything depends on what's going on with COVID-19. So if you guys can just bear with me, but at the same time, if you're willing to, or if you're interested in, let me know, or just get on the website and sign up, register for this trip. Because as far as right now, we are planning on going or we're planning on doing something either way. So uh, just go ahead and register and we'll get everything to you as soon as we get it. Thank you. Story time. First time that I actually heard this story, I actually got the chills. I totally geeked out over this and I wanted to share it with you. I probably have shared it with you before, but I wanted to share it this time and this time it's on video so it sticks. I'm going to be going into John chapter 20 and I have it highlighted in my Bible. We're starting at verse 3 through looks like 10 and it says this, Peter and the other disciples left immediately for the tomb and they ran neck and neck. The other disciple got to the tomb first, outrunning Peter. I don't know why that's important, but it really hurts my feelings when people are a lot faster than me. Um, that's why I have little kids, because I'm super fast on a bike and I beat them every time. <laughs> Stooping to look in, he saw the pieces of the linen cloth lying there, but he didn't go in. Simon Peter arrived after him, entered the tomb, observed the linen cloth lying there, and the kerchief used to cover his head not lying there with the linen cloths, but separate, neatly folded by itself. Then the other disciple, the one who had gotten there first, went into the tomb, took one look at the evidence, and believed. No one yet knew from the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The disciples then went back home. Now, if you've read the scripture before, you probably didn't notice a couple of little details that I just pointed out in this one, and we're actually going to discuss because this is the cool part of the story. But note that I am reading from the message version, and this works best in the message version because it specifies something very, very interesting. And that is the linen cloth or the kerchief that he used to place over his head. Here's the thing. Back in the day, when a master would have dinner, he usually had a napkin or a kerchief that he would use to wipe his mouth or wipe his hands while eating. If he had to get up to use the restroom, he would have servants specifically watching him to see if he needed a drink, to see if he needed anything at all, to see if he was done so they could clear his plate for him. So here's the thing to notice. The rule is that if he is getting up from the table and his kerchief is crumbled up and thrown on the plate, that signifies that he's done. He's not coming back to finish off whatever else is there. You can now come and clean up the table. But if he gets up from the table and leaves the kerchief folded neatly to the side, that indicates that he fully plans on coming back from the bathroom or whatever it is that he's doing to continue his meal. He's not done. Again, let's read into the scripture. And I'm going to scroll down just a little bit. Remember, this is verses 3 through 10, and the message actually 
puts that into a lump so it doesn't give me the exact verse. But I'm going to go down about halfway down and it says this. Simon Peter arrived after him, entered the tomb, observed the linen cloths lying there and the kerchief used to cover his head, not lying there with the linen cloths, but separate, neatly folded by itself. What? No. I don't know why that little detail always encourages me, uh, gets me excited, it makes me think, you know what, it's really, really cool that that little detail was put in there. Now, I always saw it before, but I didn't think anything of it. I also didn't think of the fact that, why would they point out that Peter was slower? But I'm not going to get into that right now. Either way, he's not done. He's coming back. Now, for the past week, two weeks, I've been discussing a uh, lesson plan with you guys, and this lesson has kind of revolved around a lot of the same details. Staying happy, staying positive. How can we love each other more? How can we spend more time with God? How can we be more like God? And during this whole time, I know that it's been very difficult to be ourselves or just to be in any type of norm because of what's going on. And then I stumbled across this one video that I wanted to show, and I'll show it at the end of this whole video that we have here. Um, but I hope that you can take it as encouragement, and I hope that you can take this quick little message knowing that God loves you, that I love you, that His work isn't done, and His work can be done through you, and you're not alone. Can't wait to see you guys later this afternoon. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day, wonderful week. And we'll see you soon. Bye.